and welcome to the market update video with me, Dave Madden. The strongly expected US CPI report has injected major volatility into the financial markets. US CPI dropped from 8.5% to 8.3%, but accounts were expecting a reading of 8.1%. The stronger than expected uh, inflation report has led to a major belief in the markets that the Federal Reserve are going to do another large interest rate hike next month. The Fed swaps market is now fully pricing in another 75 basis points rate hike at next month's meeting. As a result, we've seen a sharp decline in stock markets both in the US and also here in Europe. The US dollar was in the red area today, but it's now showing strong gains. Euro dollar is down 9 tenths of 1% and pound dollar is down over 1%. The sharp upward move seen in the US dollar in the wake of the CPI numbers has now pushed WTI and Brent crude into the red and we're seeing extended losses on copper. Gold has come under intense selling pressure in the wake of the US CPI numbers. Taking a look at the monthly indicator, we can see that momentum has swung from positive territory to negative territory, indicating that the bears are now in control. We can see a move lower in the RSI, indicating the price bias is to the downside. While gold continues to hold below these three simple moving averages, it's likely the short term downward trend will continue. A move lower from here could see it retest 1691, and a break below that could see a target 1688. Even though the short term trend for gold is lower, it's worth noting the longer term trend for gold is higher. If gold can manage to hold above this zone here at 1691, that could be another indication that the more medium term upward trend is in an effect. If gold rallies from here, it might encounter resistance from this simple moving average here, which comes into play at 1718, and a break beyond that could see a target 1731. Turning our attention to gold, the sharp upward move seen in the US dollar is weighing on the yellow metal. 